Very young children. It is indeed a great privilege that CIRS has been given the responsibility to pioneer this very important social welfare project. We live here in a very protected, loving atmosphere. But out there, especially when you go visiting home, meet some of your friends, or after school when you go to the various universities and colleges, this evil has been spreading quite a lot for quite some time, but very often brushed under the carpet. Very often the family members themselves are last to know till disaster sets in. Any form of addiction, and that is any form of addiction, first and foremost is a reflection of a weak mind. And it is always pointed out that if you have to do something wicked, you have to do something wrong, you require strength. But actually, it is a sign of weakness. Drug abuse has become so prevalent around the world. It has existed in India also, but only in certain sections of society. And for a long time, because of our cultural values, we remained free from it. But throughout the world, there has been a huge onslaught where even without children knowing are given these drugs in such forms that they would not come to know and make them addicted, make them weak so that later on they can traffic the harder drugs. It's not a time where we just sit back and think that this will not happen to us. There are many reasons for which people fall afraid. First, due to their innocence, and that can be prevented when we have a proper awareness of how these things happen and how we have to be very careful that even though we would never want to fall into such traps, somehow the other, the most innocent are led into it. You will see and hear a lot about it. I'm not going to talk in details about it. But something about our own inner values, character, inner strength. The most common reasons for which people take up the various addictions, not only narcotic drugs, but also to alcohol. And very often even alcohol is taken very lightly. But the evil of society, more prevalent is of alcohol abuse. And everyone thinks it will never happen to me. I'm just a party drinker. It's really you know, just being chilled out with friends. And that is how most of these things, addictions, start. And each one thinks that I am strong enough. But we do not even understand, even though we study chemistry, we do not understand the chemistry of this body. 
how addictions are easily built in without us even recognizing that we are falling a prey to our own body chemicals when these chemicals are introduced into our system. Any addiction will happen because at first the feeling is of some form of upliftment, some form of euphoria, some form of thrill or a different kind of an experience. And slowly, slowly the mind wants more and more and more of it that finally you do not have your normal senses to enjoy life, to function in life and to produce your own success. We all want to be successful, is it not? Yes or no? Don't give me the Indian heart. Yes. You want to be successful? Yes. Right? We are all born to succeed. But to be successful, what we require is a strong, healthy equipment. Not only this physical body, but also a strong mind. As Swami Vivekananda, as, Swami, as Gurudev also said, a strong mind in a strong body can achieve anything in this world. Yet the propaganda for these kind of pleasures are so common, especially amongst one's peers, and we very easily fall into the trap of our fears. One story I shared with the younger ones. I do not know if you heard the story, but we used to hear these stories as kids. It's about a fox in the well. I'm sure you must have heard this story. They may appear as very simple stories, but these tales were also very important to craft our character. A fox had fallen into a well which was basically empty, just some moist and fungus on the floor and being the soft ground he could not even come out of the well. And he suddenly spotted one goat wandering around there and called out to the goat, oh goat, oh goat, and the goat looked down and from up there he couldn't save the fox and why would he? fox would bite into him. So the goat said, you look seem to be in trouble. He said, trouble? Who said I'm in trouble? I'm here because I want to be. He said, but why would you want to be in this dark well? He said, because I don't want to be in that scorching sun. Don't you feel hot and scorched in that sun? The goat thought, but isn't it cold and damp in the well? He said, no, that is indeed very refreshing. And what are you eating dry grass there? Here there is moist grass in here. Why don't you come down here and come enjoy? The goat said, are you sure it's better down there? He says, well, you've not been where I have been, but I have been where you have been. And I can tell you, you're just getting scorched in that sun, eating that dry grass. Why don't you just come down in the well and enjoy this cool, refreshing well? And at the same time, this soft grass, moist grass, and from the darkness from above, he could not see any grass. And the fox said, now stop wasting time, come down quickly here, I'm telling you it's good. And the goat jumped into the well. The fox jumped upon its back and jumped out, leaving the goat alone in that well. We have to be very careful, especially when we go out in that company. And many of our alumni have told us that we are indeed shocked that when we go out and meet our old friends, when we go out into the colleges, 
what all is going on there and we are able to refrain from it because we know it is harmful, we know it is wrong and we do not want to do it. But it is very difficult and very often we think that we will not have friends, we will not be cool. But remember in every generation we have gone through this. And it's not that drugs were not available at that time. Whatsoever, we came in the time right after the hippies, which had popularized the drugs. It is not that they were not available. It was not that many of our peers were probably not into it, but we wouldn't even know because when you are not interested in it, when you are strong, such company does not affect you. You are not even aware that such a thing exists. And yet many big people fall for it. So while you have the opportunity, make your values strong, build your character on strong principles. Be a leader rather than a follower, imitating and copying the negativities of the fox in the web. In fact, there's a lot of propaganda also. Don't even fall for that. Hey, you don't know, should you smoke punk? It's not true. In mystical, mystical literature, it is pointed out in our language, what is that drunkenness? What is that sense of absolute upliftment when there is love in the heart for the divine? Yet people have used this even in the name of religion and we try to justify these things. We see some Sadhu Babas also smoking pot and they say, oh, it's okay. It's neither religious, it is neither healthy, it is neither something that gives you some euphoric experience, except for one or two times, it will be something different, but eventually it leads one into an addiction of it, and then you will see how miserably people live such a life and each one thinks it will not happen to me but you are not in control of the chemicals of your body and soon not the moods of your mind. Therefore always remember prevention is better than cure. Even psychologists, even medication very rarely can cure such addictions. And therefore, always remember, stay away. I know I don't have to point this out to you. But what Gurudev wants out of our school children is that they have to set an example. They have to be fighters they have to fight against all low tendencies within and without. And the best you can do is, I remember when I had just moved to Hong Kong, I knew these party circles were mostly drinking, etc. They are all good kids, they are not bad kids or anything, I think, but they were into all drinking, etc. And I stopped going. But once we had made our human kindra strong, of people with wonderful values and spiritual goals determined in their life, in their career. We didn't need it. We were always on a high that comes from the inspiration from within. People used to actually look at us and wonder, where do you get this spirit from? You don't drink, you don't smoke, you don't do drugs. Then how is it that you have such wonderful friends? Because such friends only can be good friends. And very often, when I would not go even to other parties, etc., my friends used to say, no, 
if we do not go and show them that you can live a life of, of great joy and happiness without any of these substance abuse. How will they know that there is a better way of life? And therefore, today the way it is spreading for people to make billions on the lives of people. And that too also on children and youngsters. And today we must be aware that India is the youngest country in the world with a maximum young population, even more than China. Be aware that wars are not taking place only in the border where our heroic soldiers have to fight and die. But a bigger battle is being taken up to destroy the youngsters of most countries, but this country for sure. By changing their ideologies and turning them away from the spiritual and religious path. Getting them to become weak through addictions. A lot of propaganda for that also is going on. And most crimes that are taking place, especially that happen on women, is because of all this. And even when you go to parties, especially girls, be very aware what people can put sometimes even in your drinks and sometimes your best friends. And everybody thinks that it will never happen to them, but it has happened to the best of people. If anybody knows, we know what happened to people. And it's so sad to see that those who were given such great values, those who had an opportunity to experience a fully holistic life, if they fall a prey to it, then who else can go out, set an example, and bring the youth who have been disillusioned to the right path. I'm very happy that this responsibility has been first given to CRS. Because throughout the world, our CRS children have proven and even from our many universities, we get sometimes from the dean or from the vice chancellor notes that what do you do with your children in the school because we have not seen such gems. Yet there are others who do falter but awaken quickly. But some rare ones, with wrong company, with sometimes this foolishness, and sometimes due to some weakness. And one thing if we have to be very clear, don't fall victim to boredom. Don't fall victim to failure. These are when people try to look for some type of support. You fall into failure thinking that, oh, you have failed and you feel miserable, then you need some upliftment that you try to build upon through these kind of addictions. Don't fall afraid to it. Because failures do not come to an end by failing yourself in life. But each time you fall, Lift yourself by your effort. Lift yourself by your values. Lift up yourself by your inspiration. Lift yourself with your faith and devotion. And never fall afraid to your own mind that then looks out for some form of illusory support. These preventions are much better than trying to get someone out of these addictions. Today, Many countries are making this also legal. Mind you, the deadly ones are not those hard drugs. Those people will take, they will die.
But those who very lightly take in drugs, saying, oh, it's good for your health, oh, it's fine, it's now even legal in certain countries. Remember, it's your life. And you are responsible for it. And don't think that whether you mess your life, it doesn't affect others. It affects many. You improve your life, it affects many. One Shankar Acharya, one Swami Vivekananda, one Swami Chinnananda can influence the world for the better. But remember, one Ram, one Hitler also can be very destructive in this world. You have to choose that with the strength you have, the values you have, the inspiration that you have been given, are you going to be a leader that can lead many youngsters out of and most important, prevent them and at the right time, lead them out of it and be strong enough never to fall a victim to this. These are few of the things that we have to be very aware not only what goes on outside but what goes on inside us. So, I wish you all the best. Our teachers, our human beings and our children of CRS should be ambassador for such a culture of strength happiness, giving and share. Producing more than what we consume. Giving more than what we ever ready to fight against. Within and do not fall a prey to any of this. Be strong enough to say no. Hari Om.